South Lido Beach, growing construction, what is going on? Hey everyone, my name is Mike Rennick. I'm the team lead, senior broker of Team Rennick. Part of that great Mangrove Realty Associates family. My guest for another edition of Out and About with Mike is Mr. Stephen Reed. Hey, Stephen. good to be here. Stephen is the owner and publisher of the Longboat Key News in the Sarasota City News. So we're on South Lido Key. Yeah, we're, why, why are we here? What's going on? Well, I mean, we're we're in a hot spot of uh, of Florida. This is one of the prettiest beaches. This is this. Is. <laughs> Let's chat right. about that. Steve. Hold on, I, I don't sell real estate, okay? And there's a good reason why. But this here, and I haven't recorded now. Yeah, these these big boulders here are your tax dollars of work, basically. The city of Sarasota, the Army Corps of Engineers, and the residents of Lido have been working for years putting a program together to re-nourish Lido Beach. Um, you're, being a realtor, or if you're a business person here, you'll realize over the past few years, Lido Key has taken a battering. The the erosion was right up to, to the shoreline. It was past what they call the recreational dune area. It was threatening roads. It was threatening hotels. The people had no beach. Correct. And they fought for years. They fought Siesta Key to dredge Big Pass which is the big, which is the pass separating Lido Beach and Siesta Key. Mm -hmm. They want to dredge the sand that's built up there. They got permission. That dredging has been done. Okay. So now there's new sand. It's almost like frosting on a cake. It's all been refrosted around the edge. And that's the best part of the cake, though. That, yeah, <laughs> right. Well, that, that's true. For some people, it's the only part. But same thing with, <laughs> with real estate. The beach is the best part of Florida, right? So. They build this big new beach, but in order to keep beaches, they've discovered, and beach engineers have been paid to tell us, that you want to build, using big rocks, these groins. These groins are big rock structures that will go out, and as the water and sand travel down the beach, the sand gets stuck in that groin, and it'll, it'll basically keep the sand in place. So what we're talking about is we spent a lot of effort and money to replenish the beaches. Yes. And now this is all about maintaining so that the sand stays here. That's right. That's right. It, it's basically we're fighting nature and yep. it takes a lot of money to fight nature. You want to keep a beautiful beach and have this great waterfront real estate and have and have the predictability for tourists who come to have a beautiful beach. You have to keep re-nourishing and to keep that sand there. This is just one technique they're using. It's part of the beach program. It is expensive, but they have a beautiful beach again. Is there any timing projected right now for when the groins will be finished here? Yeah, they'll be done this year. You know, they work in tandem with it. Tur you have turtle season, you have turtle lighting, you have tourists. There's a lot going on, but they'll be done in, over the next four months. Okay, so we need to things. come back and, and actually maybe the next shot will be out on the beach. You'll be able to see the groins. Yeah, it, it'll be exciting. You'll see these jutting out. People will be able to walk on them when they're done. It, they'll capture sand. It'll be nice. It'll be like a little jutting pier out at the end of the beach. So um, it'll be good to see that. It'll be exciting to see progress and protection of the uh, the uh, coastline and the beaches here. In the next few months, we'll come back. We'll continue to tell the story. Yeah, there's a lot sense. of good news. You, you, you have the COVID vaccine, which is great. We're heading right into the busiest part of season. And then on top of it, we have a new beach. So you got a lot of good things going on. So Florida is still alive and prospering for many folks, correct? Florida is doing great, and we're the Super Bowl champions. I just want to remind the world of that. We are the Super Bowl champions. And, and we, you know, I never thought I could say that because I spent my whole adult and child life in Michigan, Detroit football. Yeah. In, in its non-existence, so to live in a state where we're the Super Bowl champions is pretty exciting for me. I'm so excited, and I'm so excited that the Super Bowl had nothing to do with Boston this year. <laughs> that's that's what's exciting for me. One of the things Steve promised to me, there wouldn't be a lot of editorializing, but that's okay. That's <laughs> well, sorry, I had to Steve, throw that no, in. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for your help on these things. We'll see you.